flipping burgers at McDonald's to Britain's most recently crowned boxing world champion. 28-year-old Lawrence Sokoli spent years as a youngster being bullied, often because of his weight. But now he's a world champion mm. with a new inspiring book, Dare to Change Your Life. And I'm pleased to say he joins us now. Good morning. I've got a copy of the book here, Dare to Change Your Life. It, it's, it's a fascinating read because you have a great tale to tell. Tell us, take us back to the beginning of when you had that moment. You were working in a burger shop, <laughs> weren't you, at the time? Yes, thank you for having me on, by the way. Um, yeah, so I was working in um, McDonald's and basically I remember I had a break um, on one of the days and in that same break, Usain Bolt won an Olympic gold medal and then so did Anthony Joshua. And I remember watching AJ win and just feeling extremely inspired and thought to myself, you know what, like, that's something I can do. That's something I want to do. So then I remember leaving the job and just dedicating myself to boxing. And then fortunately enough, I was able to get to the 2016 Olympics in Rio. And then now, fortunate enough to be a world champion. So it's it. amazing. I, I, I love, Lawrence, that, you know, we interview people on this show and people, normally their backdrop is just books, just boring books, maybe a photo of someone we can't really work out who it is. You have got a world title belt behind you. <laughs> oh, that is just incredible. Let's have a, let's, can, we, can we have a closer look? Can you bring that to the front of the camera for us? Oh, yeah. These things are, in, I mean, this is just, they're I iconic. Oh, how did it feel when you touched that and put that around you for the very, very first time? Um, no, it felt, it, felt, it felt amazing. You know, obviously it's such a big occasion for me, my family, my area, um, a pattern that I grew up in. So for me, it's, um, it was a blessing, um, but I'm just excited to, to go out and try and get more. I yeah. bet you are. So. Your moment was uh, during the Olympics. Your moment of wanting to change your life was during the Olympics 2012. And then by Rio, you were there. I mean, that <laughs> is fast. That is fast turnaround, isn't it? You, you did absolutely brilliantly with that. Um, how bad was, was life before? Tell us a little bit about how much you weighed back then and how unfit you felt and, and about yeah. your confidence in the change. Well, I mean, beforehand, you know, I was 19 stone, like 120 kilos. Um, I obviously had a lot of bullying that I dealt with growing up. Um, and yeah, my confidence wasn't there. And I believe, obviously, as much as I enjoyed my time um, at McDonald's, I think I just felt a little bit stuck in the sense that, especially where I was working, people were in and out, going to universities, going to like their jobs. Um, so I, 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 wasn't, I wasn't where I was. My confidence was not there as well. But, you know, fortunately, we made some changes to my mindset. And that's, you know, I believe what helped me get to the 2016 um, Olympics and now be a world champion. Because ultimately, I don't feel that like there's anything particularly special about me. Like, I wasn't naturally gifted growing up. I wasn't, like, the athletic kid that was... Yeah, he's always going to be something. Um, so I just feel... I feel happy. I feel blessed. And I just hope that the lessons in, in the book are able to inspire somebody to go on and, and do something great. And, and now, uh, Anthony Joshua is... Well, you're working with his management company, which is incredible, which must be a really fantastic support network to be part of and to have that kind of backing and support. How does it feel being being part of, I guess, his team, really? Yeah, no, it's, a, it's great. I feel like it's a full circle. He's someone that motivated and inspired me without even knowing me. Um, I'm doing his thing. And then, you know, being able to sort of meet him, train with him, and now be managed by him and his... Um, company 258 it's, it's 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 a blessing as well and we've taken it from olympics to world champion so i can only be happy yeah well well deserved sounds like well, your mates have noticed you're on the telly <laughs> and are all dropping you little messages yo bro we're on on itv yeah. man <laughs> <laughs> on the subject of messages we've got one for you have a look at this years ago when Lawrence cody walked into the boxing gym for a sparring session even though i roughed him up a bit I realised the man has some talent, so I said to Rob McCracken, Rob, trust me, this guy's got some talent. See if you can get him up to Sheffield to train with the Olympic team and see if he's got potential to go on and become an Olympian, which he did, and he represented our country in 2016. He then went on to make the decision to turn pro, and my friend has now gone on and become a cruiserweight world champion. I'm so proud of him. Seeing his mum smile and his dad 
It's just so inspirational watching his journey from zero all the way to hero. So well done, Lawrence. <laughs> um, I've purchased 10 copies of your book. Even though yes. I don't like to read, <laughs> I've purchased 10 copies of your book just to show you how much I support you. Well done on all your success. You're a good man. You're 258 Management's first world champion. I love what you're doing. You're an inspiration. Keep it going, champ. God bless. Oh, how does that make you feel? That is amazing. That's a great message. That's a great message. No, it was nice to see that. Obviously, we've spoken and everything, but to see it verbalised, I, I, I really enjoy that. Thank you. Auntie Joshua, your manager, say that. And to be, that was so heartfelt as well. It obviously means so much to Anthony as well. He can see your journey, seeing where you've come through. What would be your advice, actually? I mean, you talked about there that you were bullied when you were younger, you know, you were obese. And there'll be lots of kids who feel from all backgrounds who feel like they haven't got a chance of doing anything. And they feel like, well, they're probably on the lowest rung and they're never going to make it. What would be your one message to those people watching today uh, to try and try and give them some encouragement and inspiration? I thought, A, first and foremost, it definitely can and will get better. And ultimately, once you start to believe in yourself, I believe that everything else opens up. You know, you can't take on the world's image of you or what people are saying. You have to have that self-belief, that self-worth. And once you take that, you can push that out into so many different walks of life into anything. So just believe in yourself is the main thing I can say. Uh, well, listen, I think that's lovely. I think we'll all take that away. Uh, Lawrence, good luck with the rest of your career. We'll be watching keenly. I'm sure this is not going to be the first time you'll be on this show. You'll be on this show and many others, I'm sure, in uh, months and years to come. Uh, Lawrence, congratulations. Well done. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you again soon. And we'll see you in the ring very soon. Lawrence Coley, yes. dare to change your life.